All right, welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Garrett Fairman. I am the general manager of the Rocket City Trash Pandas. I'd like to thank everybody uh, for coming for this very big announcement. Uh, over the last couple of years, we've uh, developed a really strong relationship with the city of Madison. Uh, we've had a lot of non-baseball game events uh, that we've had here at the ballpark. Some were forced, obviously, during the 2020 season, or lack thereof of a 2020 season. And uh, we've got, done some unique things at the ballpark. And uh, I'd like to introduce Mayor Finley so he can announce this, uh, this, this very special announcement that we have for, uh, for this week. So, Thank you, All right. Garrett. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, good afternoon, and it is exciting to be here. And Garrett, on behalf of the entire city of Madison, we continue to thank you and the Trash Pandas for all that you're doing. You know, we're, we're slated to have 69 Trash Panda games this year. And, and for us, on, you know, last year we only had 48. That's going to be a huge impact for our community and something that we're really proud of. But on top of that, in the last two years, there's been over 275 non-baseball events that have happened here. It's been everything from a big old fair to the Christmas lights, to weddings. Uh, you know, we've had high school proms here, uh, and it's been exciting. But the one thing that we've never, uh, we've had a lot of college baseball. We've had high school baseball. I can't imagine playing baseball and being able to play on this incredible field. Uh, but the one thing that we've never done as we've looked to go forward is add a goal post to what we're doing. And so with, with the help of uh, UNA, the University of North Alabama, we are going to do that. And so I am proud to say that on uh, October 15th, UNA will host Jacksonville State here for a football game at Toyota Field. And we are very excited to announce that. There's a lot of people to thank. The Convention and Visitors Bureau, you know, Judy, we thank you guys for everything that you do to kind of bring all of this together. Having Joel Lamp on your team sure has helped with a lot of things that are going on. I know right now the A-Sun and the conference that they play in is down in Huntsville right now playing uh, sand volleyball. But in Toyota Field on October 15th, we're going to be playing football. Um, so a lot of people to thank. I know we have the uh, Assistant Commissioner of the ASUN Conference, Mr. Lee Moon, who's here. We thank you. And you were talking about a lot of the things that it does from an economic development standpoint. Cra crazy good for the city, crazy good for our community. Um, the other part of that is, you know, it, it won't happen unless the city of Madison, I know Steve Smith, our, our office was in constant communication. There's a huge team here that will help to continue to make that happen. But the main player that's bringing the home game here is the University of North Alabama. And I'd like to introduce their president, Dr. Ken Kitts, so he can talk a little bit more about what they're doing, how it fits in to uh, both their philosophy, but also making sure that football continues to grow at their school along with their conference. Dr. Dr. Kitts? Almost got to give you a mini tramp get up here, don't we? I know. <laughs> I do. Good afternoon, and thank you, Mayor Finley. We appreciate your support and want you to know that we're very excited about bringing the tradition and pageantry of UNA football to Toyota Field. The uh, Madison Huntsville market is key for the University of North Alabama. We have a very large concentration of alumni living here, and also there are many outstanding students in this area who are potential UNA students. You know, due to demographic trends, Madison County has been increasing in importance and in our imagination as we think about enrollment. Madison is now our second largest feeder county for incoming students with nearby Limestone and Morgan counties, also factoring very prominently in our growth. Speaking of which, this spring semester marks the 12th consecutive term of growth at UNA, and we're on track to set a new enrollment record this fall. So, Mayor, it seems only fitting that the fastest growing university in Alabama should be here today to announce this partnership with the fastest growing metro area in Alabama. Beyond enrollment, we're fully engaged with business and industry in the Madison-Huntsville market, and to the extent that this game helps showcase UNA as a unique and full-service resource for this area, we say, great. We want to live up to our commitment to be the University of and by and for North Alabama. Our thanks to partners like the City of Madison, the Trash Pandas, and the Convention and Visitors Bureau for helping us make this a reality. You've all made us feel very welcome from the start, and we appreciate your warm embrace of UNA and your understanding of the economic impact of Lion Athletics. You certainly get it, and we commend you for your vision. And we also want you to know that we're energized by this partnership and look forward to seeing where it goes. One of this project's biggest supporters has been the president and CEO of the Madison County Convention and Visitors Bureau, Judy Riles. 
Judy, thank you and your team for your hospitality, and we look forward to hearing from you now. Good afternoon. Thank you, Dr. Kitts. We're so excited about this event coming and having a university and right here having a ball game is going to be very exciting. It's the first of its kind experience here at Toyota Field. A special thanks to Mayor Finley. You've done a great job in helping us secure this piece of business and we're very appreciative. Our mission at the Convention and Visitors Bureau is to showcase our destination to the world and bring opportunities that will make an economic impact to our area through tourism. Everyone on our team has worked hard to make this happen. The CVB is constantly promoting our destination as the place in the Southeast to hold conferences, meetings, and sporting events. In a state that is deeply passionate for football, we are proud to help lead the charge in bringing this game to fruition and reimagining to Toyota Field as a football facility. We all know how much fun Trash Panda games are, but we're about to find out what's going on during the football season. On top of this, having the game broadcasted on ESPN Plus gives us another opportunity to spread the word about the many great things there are to do in the Madison-Huntsville area and open doors to generate even more business coming in and showing our communities to tourists. I'd like to thank Joel Lamp, our convention sales manager for sports, who's back there talking. Thank you, Joel, <laughs> um, and his vision to make this happen. For the fans that are coming to the game, we encourage them to make a full weekend of it. Come in early, stay late. Come in Friday for dinner and one of the local great restaurants, and then book your hotel rooms and explore the area on Saturday morning before tailgating right here at the game. Then experience all the opportunities for the nightlife that we host. To help us make Toyota feel a platform for college football has taken some tremendous vision to see the opportunities. And I'd like to welcome the Director of Athletics, Dr. Jo Joseph Looney, to the podium. Thank you, Judy. Can we make this happen? That, that was the question that, that we had back in November when uh, members of, of Judy's team and uh, members of the University of North Alabama Athletics and the Trash Pandas got together and started walking this field. And it, it took us six months to get to yes and, and a lot of uh, things that we had to scratch out along the way uh, and get approvals to do, but we got to yes. And, and we thank you for, for your support, Mayor Finley. Uh, Judy, for, for your support as well. Um, definitely a team effort to get to this point. As President Kitts mentioned, uh, this is an important market for the University of North Alabama. And our university academically has done very innovative things in this market, led by President Kitts and our provost, Ross Alexander, who's here as well. Um, and we're excited athletically now as we enter our first full year of Division I membership uh, to do something is equally engaging and, and innovative in that same manner that our university and, and academics have done in this market. And, and that's play a football game uh, and transform a baseball field. Um, and that's not easy. And that's where we said, can we make this happen? And in the spirit of innova innovation and getting to yes, uh, we we're able to get there. And it will be unique. and It will be one of a kind. Um, in fact, this will be the first of its kind at the FCS level and only the second of its kind in the history of Division I football. And what I mean by this is this game will be modeled after a Big Ten game at Wrigley Field in 2010 between Northwestern and Illinois. That was the first major college football game in the modern era to go one direction. And that's what this game will do. And what I mean by one direction is all offensive drives, kickoffs, and extra points will be heading toward the first base dugout. We were able to get the proper approvals from the NCAA and the ASUN conference to make that happen, um, and we're excited to do so. And that's in, in the spirit of player safety. When we started working with uh, geometry and the diagrams, there were, it kept coming. Just one end zone seemed to be just a little close for what we needed to run off. So I said, well, this has been done before, and uh, let's see if we can make sure it happens a second time. And we were able to get those formal approvals early this month. And, and so we're excited to have a one-of-a-kind football viewing event at an unbelievable 
state-of-the-art facility. Uh, our fans and student athletes will be able to experience a great venue uh, where we will be building in right field bleachers, uh, cabana tents for, for game day premium and luxury areas. Obviously this room we're in, suites. This will be a, a, an unbelievable opportunity uh, for our fans of Line Athletics uh, to get this feel and this atmosphere. And so we're just incredibly excited uh, to come here and be part of, of this beautiful venue and this beautiful event. Uh, the, the one way to guarantee seats is to be a, a season ticket member of Lion Athletics or the Trash Pandas. Tickets, uh, we'll have some luxury packages that, that will be communicating and go on sale immediately, but tickets uh, will not go on sale to the general public until mid-July, and we expect this game to sell out very quickly um, and, and have great passion from our season ticket basis. Uh, I mentioned in November we, we had our meeting here of Can We Make It Happen. There was a meeting in October uh, when in my first month as athletic director and introducing uh, myself and others at the university to members in Huntsville, Madison, and elsewhere. And there was vision of one of our alumni um, and, and through his company, Martin Fed, uh, here in the area. And it was, how can we get Lion Athletics more involved and engaged in this market? We went through a day of, of touring all sorts of venues. Um, and, and this is one that stood out for a follow-up meeting and, and potential immediate action. And so I'm proud to have Martin Fed representing as sponsor of this game and, and, and helping underwrite the ability to, to play here at this venue. Uh, they're one of the leading federal contractors servicing the entire country, headquartered right here uh, in the Huntsville, Madison area. We're honored to have them here to support this event and here to speak on their support is their chief growth officer and proud UNA alum, Matthew Schmitz. Well, I'll be the first one to say it, roar lines. <laughs> So first, a big thanks to the Trash Pandas, Mayor Finley and your team, to, to Judy and the uh, Convention and Visitors Bureau and Joel, thank you guys. President Kitts, Dr. Looney, Provost Alexander, thank you guys. Um, Martin Fed, we're honored to be a part of this. Um, it's a groundbreaking event and we like to be involved in groundbreaking things. We are a team of outstanding professionals at Martin Fed and what we do and what our folks do every day is provide for the safety and security of our nation. And we do that through the pursuit of excellence. We cannot do that though, without strong relationships with outstanding universities such as UNA. Now I say that as a graduate, but. But a UNA allows us to recruit top talent and that top talent is what allows us to provide excellence to our federal partners on a daily basis. As an example with us today, is one of our outstanding professionals, Plana Hester. Plana is a University of North Alabama graduate and she joined our team and she's done amazing things for our team and our customers. And without her coming through UNA and receiving an outstanding education, we wouldn't have that talent to provide to our federal partners. And so these relationships are critical to the success of our company and our professionals. Martin Federal is also dedicated to improving the communities in which we live, and work. And this is an opportunity where we can invest in the communities here in Madison, Huntsville, and the Madison County metro area. We are honored and excited to be a part of this, and we want to thank you guys. We really do appreciate the opportunity to join in with this. And with that said, Roar Lines. All right, I'll wrap this up. Um, you know, this is a big day for, for the Trash Pandas, for the City of Madison, uh, for the CVB, for UNA, obviously, uh, Martin Federal, uh, and the whole, the whole North Alabama area. You know, our, our mission statement here with the Trash Pandas is, is to unite our communities, uh, creating positive and lasting experiences, um, one experience at a time, or lasting memories, one experience at a time. Um, I think this event really checks all those boxes uh, for this area. It's bringing all of North Alabama together and even bringing Jacksonville State up uh, to a little bit over the south. But uh, yeah, so we, we're bringing everybody in to this area to have the biggest attended event in the history of uh, Toyota Field. Um, I think it's just, it's gonna be a great event. It's gonna be unique, uh, but it's gonna be very popular. We're gonna do this one-off event here and uh, let's see how let's see how it goes. Obviously. The, we do very well here with the Trash Pandas, uh, with baseball, but I know Alabama is a football town or football city.
all state and uh, <laughs> all of the above. And uh, so we're looking forward to uh, to selling this uh, this this game out. So uh, with all that being said, I'll open it up to, to questions for anybody on the, on the panel. If anybody has any questions. Uh, I guess we're going to allow 10,000 people in for the for the attendance. Uh, how many people that brings in from out of the out of the area, I guess, is uh, to be determined. But yeah. Yes, I think uh, what is the 800 band members? I think that's what we're uh, tallying coming. So it's going to be uh, it's going to be a loud game. Oh, nice. OK, good. Yeah, big band. I heard uh, Jacksonville State and you and I both have big bands. So. Yeah, that, that's the the plan is to have some RV parking. Obviously, with 10,000 10, fans coming in, our trash panda games are 7,500 uh, at a capacity. So we'll have to get some uh, extra parking from other areas coming in. So, roughly, how long is it going to take to convert baseball diamond into football? Uh, it won't take really that much. I mean, the season will be over, so we can sod the uh, the dirt portions, take the mound out. Um, I think it's, it took us longer to, to measure how the field was going to fit than it actually will be uh, to put it together. But uh, it won't take long once uh, we, we have all those uh, corners placed. Uh, I mean, we, we kind of did an internal pro forma to find out what uh, what we would do here, you know, because uh, we split uh, revenues with, uh, we'll be splitting with UNA and also the city of Madison. Uh, but no, I don't have a. A number on it. Any other questions? All right. Well, we appreciate everybody coming out. Uh, it was a great, great announcement. Uh, we're excited about it. The buzz will be going on from now until uh, our season ticket holders uh, for both UNA and and the Trash Pandas have an opportunity to buy their tickets and then open it up to the public uh, later on this summer. So thanks, thanks everybody for coming out. <laughs>